Hello and welcome to the first in a brand new build series. Well, it might be a new series, it might be an extension of an old one, but stick around, I'll kind of explain what's going on. Now, I, apart from now my hair's getting quite long, uh, in the middle, what, coming into fifth week or something like that, of um, kind of lockdown here in the UK, we've at least got another couple of weeks of this and I am desperate to build something. Now, for those of you that have been following the channel, you'll know that I haven't been idle. I try to keep up the production of everything, and it's been a great opportunity for me to revisit some of the basic stuff. And I've also been doing some Pixhawk series, updating those. So if you're interested in Pixhawk, check out those video series. There's been one for Ardu Plane uh, on a Pixhawk Cube, and the current one is kind of on Ardu Copter. And that one's stalled because I'm just waiting for some opportunity to get out to go and fly it and obviously with the current situation that's a bit tricky however i am desperate to build something i haven't built something since i did the brain dart i think it was the last one i did and i just started to build um, a smart model with a Matek F405 with iNav. It went into a Nano Talon, I think it was, uh, for a mate of mine. He came over, we did half of it, and then the lockdown happened, so it's all still at his house, and uh, it's not in one piece. And I'm desperate to build something. And it just so happens that I was looking for something the other day for a camera to play with to try something out on the bench as one of the little tests for a future video and found loads of stuff in the spares bin. Not only loads of stuff in terms of flight controllers and cameras and things like that, but also some airframes. So this series is gonna be different because we're gonna do this kind of together. I'm gonna to build it, but I'm gonna ask you what I'm gonna build because I have lots of options here. We have a couple of airframes, we have two or three flight controllers, we have different flight control firmware, different radio systems that we can use. So I'm gonna lay it all out in here and then go and check out the community tab. There is gonna be a vote, and then depending on what the majority of you wanna see, that's what I'm gonna build. So let's talk about the airframes or models that I found when I was rooting through everything and trying to find something uh, yesterday. The first thing I found is this thing here. Now this is the ZOHD AR wing. Now I've done loads of videos uh, building out AR wings, putting all kinds of things inside them. The last one was an F405 with Ardu plane and it works beautifully. So I've got another AR wing. Uh, I always have at least one kicking around. They're just such great models. Not particularly expensive, but very, very versatile. We could use that and build another one with the electronics in there. That's a lower cost model that more people can probably get their hands on quite easily. The other thing that I found is this. This is the right wing mini drac. Now I did a series about the mini drac, started it back in August, 2018. Now there is a bit of a story behind the mini drac. I was actually involved in um, a show for Channel 4. They asked for volunteers. Uh, I didn't have a very good experience on it at all. It was uh, pretty horrid. But the, I stayed around because the pilots who were there needed the technical support and backup. And one of the pilots on there, a great guy called Chris, who's an amazing pilot in his own right, flies the Drax. And him and I had a chat. And uh, because I was uh, a bit fed up with everything, I bought myself a mini drac. Now the mini dracs are not cheap, and I have built uh, a mini drac style layout, which was the Talon uh, GT from ZOHD, which is an amazing model and an awful lot cheaper. Still quite expensive, but an awful lot cheaper than the mini drac, because once you buy the mini drac, the uh, the frame, you've also then got to get all the other stuff, which is in this box. So I've got the upgraded right wing motor, I got the ESC and all of the pieces as well. So I'm probably three three hundred and fifty dollars into that model already. And uh, I got to a point where I was just like, oh, there is I'm going to have to create the FPV mount. I'm going to, have to do everything else. However, everyone that flies the mini Drax or the, the other Drax actually from right wing uh, say how beautiful they are. So maybe this is a chance to build that out. So the choices are going to be the AR wing, 900 millimeters, or it's going to be the right wing mini drag. And to finish that build and put all the electronics in and get that little fella flying, hopefully ready for when the lockdown finishes and it will keep me entertained and hopefully keep you entertained as well. Now, the next thing we need to think about then are flight control systems. 
Again, I've done loads of Arduino playing stuff recently, so check out the links in the description. Uh, a current series that I'm running on is using Pixhawk, so if you're interested in Pixhawk, check that out. So the flight controllers that I've got that's in the spares bin, I have one of these, a good old Matek F405 wing. I use these a lot. They are bulletproof. They work incredibly well. The onboard voltage regulation is spectacular, so it gives really crisp, clean FPV too tons and tons of UARTs for you to connect things into so there's also lots of other speed sensors and things like that that you can add the other option here is a flight control that I had in for a while that I've been looking for a build maybe this is it it's the Matek F405 wings bigger brother the Matek F765 wing now this is an f7 based flight controller you can see here I haven't even got round to soldering the pins on it has a few differences with its baby brother but has all of the same kind of fantastic connectivity and the ability to connect other things to it so that is the other option for us here we could use this later board I have had a couple of people get in touch uh, saying they're struggling to flash it with things like ardu plane or ardu pilot so it might be one of those if we don't use that i might still make that supplementary video to show how to do that anyway the last option is a bit of a bit wacky. Those two Matek boards are relatively inexpensive considering what you get in the package. The other one is a little bit more expensive uh, and that is the Vector. Now I have done a number of videos on the Vector already. I have an entire series. Again, links in the description below. So if you're interested in how to put a Vector together, follow that along. The Vector is really aimed at those pilots who don't want to go through all that gubbins it's really plug and play. The micro vector, there's a little bit of soldering involved, but with this, you literally just plug everything into it and it kind of works. Graphical on-screen display, GPS return to home functionality, uh, a very, very good flight controller. But the graphical user interface is getting a bit outdated now. It's uh, relatively expensive because you can get almost all the functionality with the exception of the graphical OSD out of the Matek boards too. But again, it's an option. So the three options here, we have the Matek F405, we have the F765 wing, and we also have the Vector. So those are going to be the three choices for the flight controller. Next things we need to decide is the radio system. And this is just two things. First one is, are we going to use a good old X-series receiver, a free sky jumper, or something else that we're going to connect to it and use smart port telemetry and put Lewis scripts on the radio, all that jazz? Or are we going to put a crossfire system in it and set it up with crossfire? Again, there are videos where I've used crossfire both with Ardu Plane in that uh, Matek F405 AR wing build, and I've also used crossfire with iNav, and that was in the Brain Dart series. So both of those have been used already, but interested to see what you want to put in it. I don't have any particular axe to grind. Obviously, if we put in a crossfire system, then that uh, gives um, slightly longer range uh, and different performance characteristics than something like an X-Class receiver, probably an X8R, uh, or maybe something like that that I've got in the spares bin. Last thing to think about then, are the firmwares and again the choices here are going to be uh, if we're not using vector of course are going to be iNav good old iNav uh, loads and loads of videos on iNav check out my iNav 2.2 uh, builds um, iNav 2.5 is coming out very imminently has a new program function that builds on the logical conditions global function uh, stuff it had before so it's very very smart stuff now uh, we potentially do some of the stuff that you can do in OpenTX automatically actually on the uh, craft itself and the other one then of course is our friend Ardu Pilot probably Ardu Plane with this being a plane uh, that will go, go on the F405 it will go on the F765 wing as well and both of those are going to be interesting options and again, if you want to vote, then check out the community tab. There'll be the votes in there. Vote for the one that you're particularly interested in. And then I can get cracking and finish this build series out. If it ends up that it's the mini drac that wants to be built, then I'll also post those videos back in the mini drac build series that's been languishing back there since August, September 2018. Uh, but it's uh, something I thought would be quite fun to do in a more interactive way rather than me just sit here, find all these bits in the spares bin, warm up the soldier and iron, get a fresh mug of tea and start building. 
and hopefully entertain each other during these tricky times where we're all stuck indoors. So do leave your vote on there. Uh, if you want to leave a comment down below, pop it there. But I'm only going to count the actual uh, polls in the community tab. And I shall see you soon with the results and the start of the build. Thank you for watching my video and watching right to the very end. If you want to find out what I'm currently working on, you can follow me on social media by searching for Painless360 in the usual places. If you'd like to become part of the inner circle, then you can become a Patreon. Details are in the description and you get lots of additional benefits. Check out the playlist section on the channel too. I organize all of my videos into playlists and it's called something like Introduction to Author Beginners. All of the content is aimed so that you can start at the very beginning and it teaches you that subject, starting with simple principles and moving up to teach you everything you need to know.